Good evening and Happy New Year. I'm Scott Hennessy. Welcome to this joint edition of News Channel 3 and KCOY 12 Central Coast News. We begin at 5 with a simple traffic violation that quickly turned deadly. The deadly freeway accident ended late last night on New Year's Eve at Highway 101 just north of the Broadway exit. Dave Alley is live near the accident scene to tell us how the whole thing started. Scott, at approximately 10.20 last night, Santa Maria PD spotted the driver of a 1995 Cadillac that failed to stop at a red light. That set off a pursuit that quickly made its way onto Highway 101. When it was all over in just a matter of minutes, there were deadly consequences for a 20-year-old man from Santa Maria. A cold and relatively quiet New Year's Eve in Santa Maria was interrupted following what police say was a routine traffic stop. One of our marked units had witnessed the vehicle run a red light on Betteravia. However, the driver failed to pull over and instead made his way onto northbound Highway 101. At that point, our unit was in pursuit. After a mile or so, the speeds had increased to 80. The chase continued for a couple of miles when police decided to back off. The officers did what uh, policy dictates. They felt that the speeds were increasing to the point where it was unsafe. Just moments later, while police were on their way to the driver's home, dispatch began getting calls of a uh, rollover collision. The suspect had attempted to exit the Broadway off-ramp, but instead failed to navigate the sharp curve. After surviving the crash right here, the suspect then got out of his car, ran up this hill and across the freeway where he was struck by several vehicles and killed. I'm assuming he was just trying to flee from the, the collision scene, not wanting to be apprehended. And anytime you run into a roadway where there's vehicles, it's an unsafe thing to do. But we're talking the 101 freeway where speeds are much greater. Santa Maria police, along with the CHP, were at the scene for a couple of hours, which affected traffic well past midnight. Southbound 101 was closed for about two and a half hours following the crash. Traffic was diverted onto nearby Highway 166 on the Bull Canyon Road, then back onto the freeway. Now, as for the identity of the driver, it has not yet been released by CHP. But again, we do know that it is a 20-year-old man who lived on the west side of Santa Maria. The investigation continues on. Reporting live in Santa Maria, Dave Valley. Scott, back to you. Okay, Dave, thank you. While Champagne.